things here that uh, some ways of reading body language and this could you can make some adjustments in your own personal life in these areas or this is going to help you in uh, identifying what's happening in somebody else so let's go over part one open up your pages to part one and you're welcome to take notes wherever you like uh, that would be helpful for you whichever you, and if you don't want to take notes just follow along if you would like a pen raise your hand if you didn't bring a pen with you uh, event team, let's grab a couple pens, please. They'll run out there and grab a pen and, and bring you back one. Part one, body language basics. To be able to do this, I'm going to need two volunteers, a male and a female. So if you'd raise your hands, let me just kind of check it out and see. Let me just see who I got in the room so I can give some diverse going on here. Okay, I think Mr. Uh, Sir and the turquoise glass guy, I think you'll give us a great example. And then let's go with, let's go with, let's go with, uh, lady over there in the back corner. Yes, you, please. And your name is, sir? Rob. Rob, everybody say, you can do this, Rob. You can do this, Rob. You are here, Rob. Thank you, Rob. And your name is? Jamie. Jamie, everybody say, you can do this, Jamie. You can do this, Jamie. So Jamie's up here. They're going to give us an example. Oh, you're right here. Okay. So he's going to give us an example of the male world. He is a boy. This is, she's going to give us the example of the female world. She is a girl. Are there any questions? <laughs> we got that part? Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to ask them to do a particular move and then hold the move so we can all see it. Because sometimes learning how to read body language is like we need something to look at. So we have real people to show us how this is going to work. Now, your work is don't look at each other. Because you got your stuff, you got your stuff. And some of it will see be the same. Some of it's going to be different. So here we go. Um, first, so I'm just going to go through this image on part one, and we're going to demo some of these pieces. For the first one, I'm going to have you reach up and itch or rub around your eye. Itch or rub around your eye. Okay, pause. Okay, notice that they're different, but the movement is the same. The actual act of doing it, she's got her fingers on her head like this, you know, and she's like this, and her thumb, you just hold it like that. So she's got this move on the right side of her head. Our friend over here, he's got his finger in his eye. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? Okay, so, he, so it looks like, oh my gosh, this is a completely different body language between these two people. No, the, the part you want to pay attention to is that they're interacting with the eye. What are they interacting with? The eye. The eye. Anytime somebody interacts with their eye, there's a possible message that they can't see what you're talking about or can't see what's happening. It has to do with their vision of the topic of what's going on. Now, granted, sometimes a, f a mosquito dive-bombed them and hit them right in the eyeball, you know, or a piece of something flicked up in their eye and they really have something to itch. But most of the time, I let me just say this. I read body language all the time. If there's mosquitoes or things flying through the air, if somebody scratches their eye, I take it as, ooh, they're having a challenge seeing what's happening in this conversation. So a response to this is, when somebody scratches their eye like this, after they're done, I'll ask them, do you have any questions of how I could help you see this better? Okay, so this is a signal to me. I better find out to help them see this better, clarify what's happening, or if I miss this signal, miscommunication has begun. Okay, I know your arms are tired. Go ahead and put your arms down. Whew, a workout, huh? Okay, so let's, for example, I'm at home. My son, Caden, is doing his homework. In the middle of his homework, I'm like making myself, uh, you know, some sweet potatoes with a little bit of butter and some sea salt. Well, that's good. Okay, so I'm making myself a little treat. Yeah, I'm in the, yeah. Okay, so I'm making myself a little treat, and I'm glancing over and watching Caden. Caden's doing his homework. Caden reaches up and starts to rub his eye. Ha, ha, I so got this. Caden, hey, buddy, you having a challenge there on your homework? And Caden says, no, Dad. No, Dad. But I know better because I see that what's going on here. So I go over there. What do you need help with seeing here? And sure enough, he goes, oh, well, can you help me with this? Most of the time, people will not say that they really have something for you because it's deep down inside. They usually don't think people are going to help them. 
But I use this in interacting with my kids. Anytime they rub their eye, I know, boy, I got to help them see this way. An employee, if an employee, if I'm showing them something, hey, will you do this and this and this? And you just rub your eye while I'm talking. Hey, will you do this and this and this? If she's doing this while I'm explaining, I go, okay, tell me what you can't see about how to do this. So I'm already just addressing what I'm seeing happen. This would be a no-no. This would be a no-no. Now you just rub your eye when I'm talking. Okay, I want you to do this. Oh, my word! <laughs> You're scratching your eye. <laughs> Why are you doing that? That's a no-no. When you draw attention that you... Sorry, did that freak you out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fun. You're so fun. So if you point to it and tell them, I saw you scratch your eye, and that means you can't see. You got issues. <laughs> if I point that out, she's going to do this. She's going to get super stiff and not want to move because now she's like, oh, crap, Kirk's looking at me. So this is that part where you say, you don't tell people you're reading their body language. It's, you just got a ninja skill. Okay, you keep it to yourself. You use this to improve your communication. Or you're going to lose friends. And people, they're not going to want to be around you because you creep them out because you're watching too closely. Okay, so remind the person next to you, don't tell them you know how to do this. Don't tell them you know how to do this. Just tell them you got ninja skills. <laughs> What'd you do tonight? Oh, got ninja skills. <laughs> right? You got ninja skills now. Okay, okay. But don't, like, jump off buildings with this, right? Okay. So instead of pointing it out, I just clarify what's going on because they rub their, their eye their eye. Okay, very good. So now let's pretend like you're talking to this person up here on the stage, whichever one it is. You're talking to them. They reach up and they scratch their head. Go ahead and just scratch your head. They scratch their head. Okay, good. There's a girl scratch. There's a guy scratch. Okay, so we got girl scratching, guy scratching. Oh, yeah, that could happen too. <laughs> when someone scratches their head, I first think they need new shampoo. <laughs> Then I quickly think of number two. Number two is, check it out, small itch means what? So small itch is like, what? They're like, what? They need more information. Large itch means what? Too much. The reason, I'm not going to scratch your head for you, and you'll mess up your hair. You won't mess up your hair that bad. Do a big scratch. Whoa, buddy. Okay, that's big. Okay, so when he does big scratch, he's actually trying to wake up his skin to, to trigger the body to send more blood with nutri nutrition to satisfy the brain to have the power to comprehend all the stuff you just said. And so big itch says, back off on the data. Who in here is a teacher? Who in here is a teacher? Raise your hand and make a noise. Okay, when you're teaching, you watch your audience, and if all of a sudden they start raking their head, you've got to go to something fun. You've given them too much information. Children will do the same thing. Okay, honey, I need you to like mow the lawn, do the dishes, take the laundry out, do this. By the time they get to too much, you'll see them going, oh, and they're scratching their head. And that's a signal, back off, mom, <laughs> too much. Now, kids in the room, you can't just do that when mom says, clean your room. <laughs> too much information! <laughs> you can't just start doing that. Okay, okay, okay. So these are signals to watch to improve communication, to see the signals. See the signals so there's not misunderstanding. Next one, reach up and scratch or tug on your ear. Scratch or tug. Okay, so we got left hand, right hand. Okay, pause, pause. On the paper, when someone touches your ear, what does it mean? I don't understand. I don't get it. The eyes are what? Can't. Ears are? Don't understand. Somebody tugs on their ear, I immediately just stop talking. I rewind in what I was saying, and I repeat it. I just rewind. Rewind a couple sentences and go, oh, you know what? I mean, let me just review this with you one more time. So if somebody reaches up and scratches their ear, I immediately just stop, back up a little bit, and repeat it because they weren't able to hear it. So kids usually do this a lot. I see this happen at stores all the time. Mom or dad's talking to their kids, and their kids are standing there. First, they tilt their head. And then they reach up and scratch their ear because they're going, me no understand, mom and dad. I don't get it. And so they, but the parents go, okay, go do that. And I see the kid turn around going, oh, 
what was I supposed to do? But then wait a second, the kid comes back and now he's in trouble. Because we just think because we say it, everybody heard it. But they signal to us when they tell us they don't understand what's going on. I think too many kids get in trouble for something they didn't even understand. And then their personal value drops and the parents don't understand why this kid's being this way. There's signals that they give to tell us what's going on. We've got to learn. We've got to get better. Just get better. Just a wee bit. How much? Wee just a wee bit about reading the signals of what's going on. Okay, tell the person next to you, you're so getting smart with this. You are so getting smart. <laughs> you're so getting smart.